O Muslim, O slave of Allah, guess what I discovered? Allah wants you to be a tranny. I don't know if it means, I, I don't think he wants you to go so far as being a transsexual, but he at least wants you to be a transvestite. And the reason why I say that is because Muhammad wore women's clothing, garments, uh, going so far as saying that he only got revelation while wearing Aisha's clothes. And Aisha was a little girl. Uh, well, that's when he, well, when he, when, I don't know when he started wearing the clothing, but he said he gets no revelations in women's clothing except when he's wearing Aisha's. And Muhammad is supposed to be the exalted man, the one that you as a Muslim are to follow as an example. And since Muhammad apparently wore women's clothing, you should wear women's clothing also. If you don't believe me, this is, um, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. That is Mishkat al Masbib, Volume 3. You see, uh, the fine qualities of the Prophet's wives. He said, um, he, uh, Muhammad said this, uh, Do not annoy me regarding Aisha, for inspiration has not come to me when I was in any woman's garment but Aisha's. So he, apparently he was trying on the other clothing of his wives and uh, didn't get any revelations. But when he put on uh, Aisha's, he started getting revelations. You see, this proves to me that he was a transvestite. And again, Muhammad is supposed to be the example to live by if you're a Muslim. Now this is Sahih collection of Bakari, and Bakari is definitely Sahih. Uh, hadith number 2442. Uh, okay, they said to her, speak to him until he speaks to you. He went around to her and he spoke to him, and she spoke to him. Uh, he said to her, do not injure me regarding Aisha. That's the girl he married when she was six. And he was like 52 or something like that. Uh, oh, he was 51. Yeah, But then he consummated the marriage when he was 54. Okay. Do not injure me regarding Aisha. A re the revelation, I mean, it's getting the Quran, does not come to me when I'm in the garment of any woman except Aisha. If you don't, if you don't believe me, it says it here. This is, again, uh, from the Sahih collection of Al Bukhari Hadith number to do, 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 go down here. It says here. Alrighty. The revelation does not come to me when I'm in the garment of any woman except Aisha. And here's a and, he, and here's another Bukhari. Another Bukhari. Remember, Bukhari is Sahih. And if you're a Sunni Muslim, you got to follow Bukhari or you're not a Sunni Muslim because Sunni, Sunni means one who follows the Sahih. Uh, the, the, yeah, the, the one who follows the Sunnah. Okay. Okay, here's from uh, Sahih al-Bukhari, Hadith number 2393. says, Then the Prophet said to her, Do not hurt me with Aisha, for inspiration did not come upon me when I was in a woman's garment except that of, of Aisha. And if you don't believe me here, here it is. Yeah, Bakari. Yeah. Bakari, go down here. From there. You go down to... Yeah. For the inspiration did not come unto me when I was in a woman's garment except that of Aisha. Again, do you see what that means? You should be a tranny. All I want you a tranny because Muhammad, the exalted man, the one to live by example of, the one to uh, use an example to live by, was a tranny. A transvestite, not a transsexual, you know. So, uh, just like you know, I know, I know, I know the Torah, which uh, the Quran says is all this book given to Musa, uh, is against saying it's an abomination to wear women's clothing. But, you know, hey, you know, maybe the Jews changed it to have an abomination or way back then it was okay to dress in women's clothing so you know in case you know you, you know muslims believe the torah all this but given to musa is corrupted even though the quran says that 
Allah gave the Jews the Torah to protect, you know? Of course, if you study Islam, it sounds like uh, Muslims thwart Allah at all, at all area, all passage. I mean, it's like, they're all, they always thwart Allah, you know? To the point we even, even Muhammad said that were it not for the Bani Israel Jews, meat would not decay. In other words, you know, it's not bacteria that causes meat to spoil, it's Jews. So, I'll let you know that. Bye.